game at Fratton Park, but with nothing to show for it, Norwich really needed a lift as Gary McAllister's Coventry City came to Carrow Road. Commentary here from Donovan Blake. Now it's with Nadegaard. Russell. Nadegaard continues his run. Closed down by Davenport. It's a decent cross. Up goes the heads. It's Easton. And it's turned in. No, it's not. David Healy at the far post. Looked as though all he had to do was steer it into an empty net. With the defence stretched, it was a decent cross in the first place. Easton did well to win the header. And at the far post, David Healy and everyone in the river end thought all he had to do was steer it in. Colbert drives it forward and Joachim is onside. He's behind the defence here, but back comes Lee Bromby. Sheffield Wednesday, Loney was switched on to close down Julian Jochin, but Jochin found himself in acres of space. Couldn't bring the ball under control quickly enough. And Bromby did his job. Coldwell gets there first. Holdsworth looks as though he was shoved off the ball by Bromby. And in fact, he couldn't control it. It's a throw into Norwich, quickly taken by Bromby. And now a chance here for Nadegaard to get to the byline. Does so and keeps it in. And Seymour Abbey is missed. A real opportunity for Norwich City. Nadegaard latching onto that quick throw by Bromby. Does well to keep it in play. And Zima Abbey and Mart couldn't find the target. Strength there by Bromby. Easton. Zima Abbey against... Davenport and Abbey's used his strength very well indeed to get the other side of the youngster. Easton with a cross, headed away by Shaw. Back towards Nadegaard, may have a pop, and does so! What a beauty by the Dane! An absolute fantastic goal by the Danish player. Stane Nadegaard has given Norwich City the lead. his first for the season but look how important that goal must mean for Norwich City he had time and space to size up the situation and then let fly with the right foot that was an absolute corker Stane Nadegaard doesn't score many but that will live long in the memory I'm sure this is the moment he will cherish for a long long time well controlled Nothing on, decides, all right, I'll have a go. Beautiful strike. Rivers taking on Coldwell. Cross is blocked. Appeals for handball on the far side. Referee says play on as Nedegaard swings this one in. Healy's header. And once again, the Northern Ireland international ruse his luck. Coventry seemed to stop when there was appeals for a, a free kick. It was swung back in by Rivers. And the header from Healy, just a foot over the crossbar. Rivers trying to help it into the path of Abbey. Healy, and now Rivers in space here. Can he finish this off? Mark Rivers, oh! He holds his head and he knows that should have been converted. It was quick thinking by David Healy. He launched the flick on by Abbey straight into the path of Rivers. Only the keeper to beat. And although he narrowed the angle, Rivers really should have found the target. Shipo. Safri, good control. Peed, it's just overrunning. Gary Holtz in trouble. Couldn't control. Safri, Peed, McAllister. Shooting chance. Oh, good save by Green. And Robert Green hasn't had much to do in this game, but he had to be right on the button there. Good control by McAllister, instant control, instant shot, super save. Drury, and well, Safri on Sinclair. As play goes on, it's with Daryl Russell. He's got McVeigh square. Paul McVeigh, can he finish it off? Good challenge from Shaw. Still with McVeigh, pulls it in. Who's in the far post? It's Adam Drury. Surely the 
points to save for the Norwich fans and the Norwich players. There's a minute to go. It's Norwich 2, Coventry 0. There was a real old tangle between Safri and Sinclair, but play went on. But they pulled it back into the danger area and Adam Drury was on the far post to steer it in ahead of Darrell Russell. Good play by McVeigh and young Adam Drury scores his second of the season to make it Norwich 2, 